My name is Art Pimentel. I'm uh, honored to be the president of Folsom Lake College. And one of the wonderful things, it's a beautiful day. And right behind me, we have the future site of the new science building at Folsom Lake College. And we're just absolutely excited to be able to uh, have this kick off and have ground moving already uh, for a completion date uh, late next year. To have this new 75,000 square foot science building is going to be one of the cornerstone pieces that is gonna complete our overall uh, college. And it's been part of our master plan for many, many years. Presently, we're functioning at maximum capacity in our science labs, which creates a backlog and a wait list for students who want to pursue academic goals in the STEM fields. Folsom is a growing area. We are um, expecting to double our population in the next 10 years, and we're putting in a lot of new housing, which is where you've seen on Bidwell, and we're gonna have a big student body that we need to serve. We have a lot of students who want to pursue science and, and we have very limited classroom space. The wonderful thing that we will be having six biology labs and six chemistry labs all as part of this facility so that we could serve every single student uh, from our region that wants to get a degree in the sciences right here uh, in their backyard, right here at Folsom Lake College. This will alleviate those backlogs of students who want to take the science classes and really open up a lot of opportunities for them, not only at Folsom Lake College, but to move beyond and pursue the academic goals that they've identified for themselves. We have strong partnerships with CSU Sacramento, with UC Davis, where we will be able to strengthen that pipeline for those students wanting to go into the sciences. So while I was at Folsom Lake College, I took organic chemistry with Professor Oberth, and she had mentioned an opportunity to apply for an internship at UC Davis. It was my dream school anyways, but I didn't think to apply. I didn't think I was smart enough. I didn't think I was prepared enough but she kept encouraging me, so finally I applied and I ended up getting the position. And while I was there, I had a publication that was published in the Journal of Organic Chemistry, which was a very significant factor in my medical school application. So if it wasn't for Folsom Lake College, I wouldn't have had that internship opportunity, much less the lab experience, which got me to where I am. It has a direct benefit in the community because we are going to be preparing the new scientists of the future right here at Folsom Lake College. One of the big, I'd say, design themes of the building is to create a sense of community, to create a space where students feel like they're connected to the campus. We, we designed the, the building to be very much a science on display, um, and in particular, the Flex Lab. Most of the labs have um, glass walls or windows. So everyone can walk up, look in, see a food safe area, be welcomed in, and feel like they are already a scientist. And so it's not just a place they come for 80 minutes, once class is done, then they leave and go away. We really want them to, to feel that sense of community and that sense of belonging as they pursue their academic goals. Because that's exactly what we want, to make sure that the students that come here are prepared, they get the education so that they, they, they could join the workforce and make sure that they're fully prepared to be able to be hired at any of the businesses locally or, and regionally and beyond. It's really, really exciting what we're having put in place here and it's going to allow students affordable access to something that they would normally have to be in an upper division course at a university that's a research university like UC Davis to access. When I decided to come to Folsom Lake College, it wasn't really a decision I made. It was a decision that was made for me by my family, my life circumstances. We did have some fancier machines. We had gas chromatography, which was really cool to see here. You can learn a lot from books, but you're going to learn more from hands-on learning. And with the new science building, we're going to have you know two cadaver rooms, which means that we get to learn more about the human body and we actually get to look at the details of it. We're gonna have uh, not just the, the space, but the latest technology uh, post-COVID, where we are gonna be offering the variety of modalities, both online and on ground. We will also have an analytical chemistry program that will be starting, so it's a quantitative analysis program and that's going to be UC transferable and not offered anywhere else. The, the, the facility is going to be a state-of-the-art facility. Including six biology labs, five chemistry labs, one flex lab, in addition to six new lecture classrooms and a 3,000-foot science center. The thing that I'm excited about with the new building and, and that it, to me it's a, 
It's a continuation of, of some interdisciplinary opportunities that we've been able to provide for students. They can um, approach various disciplines, including chemistry, um, kind of from a place of their own interest, and we think that that creates opportunities for really powerful learning, and so I think that makes them better prepared to uh, when they transfer or when they get a job or when they're, they go out into the world, we think it makes folks better people. Science is becoming less isolated into specific disciplines and much more cross-disciplinary, and so we need to allow space for students to engage in that type of work. And I think that blending those two, like the art and the science, and finding a place where you are exploring your interest in a way that's really fulfilling is exciting. And it makes you a more diverse person, which it's very important as the world continues to change. This is an exciting time at Folsom Lake College. And I just want to invite our alumni, our business community, to donate, because they could donate to this exciting project and be part of the history of Folsom Lake College and support the next generation of students, the next generation of professionals by helping us further develop this wonderful facility and uh, be able to provide all everything that we need so that our students uh, can prosper and succeed and that this facility could continue to be that state of the art facility that we want to have at Folsom Lake College. For more information on how you can support the Science on Display campaign, visit the Support Us page on the Folsom Lake College website.